Because it is concrete, we are putting the roof now. A roof is there, Paul's epistle to pastors or persons for who are the names? Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. And the other side we see from Hebrews to Revelation, another nine books called General Epistle. Okay, how many um, historical books? Five. Five. General, uh, sorry, uh, Paul's epistle to churches? Nine. Nine. And the uh, persons? Four. Four. Yeah. And general epistles? Nine. Nine. Now look at this foundation here, in that, that, that pillar. Romans and Hebrews are doctrinal books. We have to study very well this one. This Romans is the foundation of our faith, justification, that is that. In the main justification, the sanctification, glorification, everything have come in here. Every Christian should learn this. This one is a little more, little hard, and there it is saying something about Jesus is above all, everything. Like that. It is little uh, maturity time we can uh, learn this one. And this side, all these are church names. To whom it is written? The churches. Okay, the names are there. These are of course the person's name. Here mainly Hebrew is not a name and that's a people name. Actually Hebrews. Uh, we don't know who wrote it. There is a doubt whether it is Paul or somebody else. So theologians are fighting on that. We are not theologians or so no fight. We simply accept this is inspired word of God. We accept it. And the James wrote like that. Okay, these are okay. If we can say some prophetical books there, then we can say this two little prophecy and this revelation also. That's that. that is the book. Okay, this is for us. The gospel of Jesus Christ taken from four books. And if you read um Luke's Gospel. The beginning two, three verse when we read, we read our sister something special when he wrote the Gospel. Anybody knows that? He is the one who wrote the, uh, the life of Christ in order. That's what he wrote. Many try to write the story of Jesus. But after checking with our, uh, with the different people and collecting a lot of information, I also thought to write everything in order. So for life of Christ, we are taking Jesus, uh, Jesus, Luke's gospel. You might have seen the film Jesus. How many of you have seen Jesus film? It's a global. Uh, presentation of the gospel actually. Campus Crusade is using that word, and I was part of it. And even my father and mother uh, they tapping for that Malayalam language. Like that. So that is a known film. That film is according to Luke's gospel because historically, chronologically, everything comes. That's the reason. Then uh, that, but that is only the Humanity of Jesus, it is present in the perfect man. But for the divinity also need when we study gospel, life of Christ. So we are taking some portions from John's gospel and fix in between while the steps are coming. Okay? Now look at this. Again, the map is coming, but this is a narrow, enlarged map of Palestine. For Old Testament, we use all this area, only Middle East map, it's very small. Now the Palestine area, life of Christ, we need this much map. So all people that time sitting this side as Mediterranean, they are all coming to the land now. Mediterranean is out now. You all are sitting in this position. Look at this. Yeah, see this one. That is Sea of Galilee, it can be the Sea of Galilee and uh, Jordan River, we can take uh, one, two, three, okay, one or two. 
and then the dead sea is there. Nobody is all are leaving. See, I will take the last one. Okay, uh, that the corner that light is there. Nobody, it is already dead. So <laughs> okay, that is there. Then look at this Mediterranean. It's already outside. We are not showing much for that. We are creating the Jesus uh, tower. So Jesus time, this Palestine, land of Palestine, uh, it's like a district. We can say uh, this is uh, this part, north is Galilee and center portion Samaria and uh, south again Judea and the east side of Jordan and that part maybe the kitchen we can make the kitchen is Perea okay now the division name you want to have much people there one two only the line okay this line and here it is Galilee north side and the center you all are Samaritans there and uh, Russ Judea. Okay. Uh, Judea two places are there. We have to put that. Okay. Capernaum is uh, I said you are Sea of Galilee? Sea of Galilee. Okay, here come just like tapping the Sea of Galilee is Capernaum. And uh, Galilee Nazareth. Uh, okay, you can be in that place. Tomorrow you have to remember. <laughs> we will skip the places, but uh, and uh, in uh, Samaria, uh, yeah, you can be the Saika in Samaria, and uh, Jerusalem is on the chair because that is the city of the Lord. So she is on the chair, and behind that is Bethlehem. Yeah. So let us try this one, then we will start. Okay. Sea of Galilee, Jordan River, Dead Sea, Mediterranean out. Okay. out. Okay. Nasre, where is Nasre? Nasre, Saika, Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Kapernaum, Perea, that is an area like district Perea. And that is Judea, that uh, line and beyond. And the center line is Samaria. And here, we got that. Very good. Okay, now. 13 step. Already told over in the testament. Now we are coming. Jesus' birth. Where was it? Bethlehem. Yeah, you know. Bethlehem. We are that word that. Bethlehem birth as a baby, not appearing like me. <laughs> a baby, that is the birth of Jesus. Okay, birth of Bethlehem birth. Now the question: Jesus didn't born in U.S. or Tamil Nadu. Why? Some center of the earth. <laughs> center of the artistic <laughs> it is a prophecy fulfillment of a prophecy who is that prophet somebody talking about the place where Jesus be born every Christmas season we are reading now the next Christmas you are waiting to hear that eh? Micah or Micah, chapter 5, verse 2. Bethlehem is a small town, small village like that, but the one who is coming from there to lead you as the king. That is the prophecy. Okay, now Mary and Joseph from where? We read. From where they are? Nazareth. Okay. How come? The birth of Jesus happened there in Bethlehem. The prophecy is over. Now, how that happened? Yeah. 
सेंसस या व्हाट इज दैट मॉड या व्हाट इज दैट रजिस्टर व्हाट इज दिस सेंस पासपोर्ट रजिस्टर सिटीजन सिटीजन या सेंसस हु डिक्लेयर द सेंसस सीजर अगस्टस सीजर वेयर इज इट रोम रोम इज नॉट हियर Rome is very far. Okay, the Caesar, Augustus Caesar, sitting there in Rome, one day he is thinking, okay, what today? What I have to do? To <laughs> no, what? Okay, let there be a census. Let there be a census here also, where Palestine. He simply said, "That is their way of doing things, you know." Suppose, now the question you think: Suppose this man, who does not know the law or Jew or their uh, uh, prophets or anything, suppose he is saying six months before or six months after this time, what will happen? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's the answer. That's I. I want that answer. <laughs> And how come this came very sharply, very sharp? Everything happened. The census time. He is saying from somewhere there, like our Mr. President is saying something. Let there be Jerusalem, the capital. Okay. It's a global. declare declaration of mr trump you notice that it is i told you assyria babylonia persia greece israel rome the same continuously coming on we are living in a such a time god is now also god is using the nations of the world and god is the one who put every president or prime minister on the throne including here my star trump the president modi in india, india. and russia jerusalem israel everywhere all are ultimately doing god's plan and purpose don't forget that nobody did this like you are you are mean sir how can i say yeah because you are here i can say you are president nobody did that before because it is god's time God raised somebody on the throne as the president of U.S. to declare that. That is very close, very very close than our forefathers, our Messiah's second coming is very close, and that should happen in time, fullness of time, and that fullness of time is very close. So God used this great man to say that. Nobody had the guts to say it before, and when God wants to put somebody there to say this, what He will use? He use Gentile Assyria. Nebuchadnezzar, what he called? Nebuchadnezzar, my servant. Who is that? A Gentile man. He will come and do like that. so we can use the same word maybe mr trump my servant like that we can call no problem because he is under god's control and modi also don't forget to say that modi also under god's control and he is on the throne and every nation don't think he is a wrong man god forgot about our christians there and because of 
he was busy with America and he forgot about India and this man again said, no, it's not like that. Only God only put him there to do certain things. The serious was he was Mama. Caesar, Augustus Caesar from Rome, he said the right time because God was in control. And he said, now, Caesar, you have to say this. My plan is there. The prophecy should be fulfilled. So now you have to say, it is not directly say, but the feeling. You know sometimes, maybe pastor can say, example on that. Sometimes, I, I also felt like that. Sometimes we feel to say something, to preach something. While preaching, some sentence, some statements will come not prepared. Am I right, Pastor? You know, while teaching this Old Testament and New Testament seminar, God said many things through my mouth. People, they don't know what happened. For a few seconds, I cannot talk them. Because I was thinking, how I said? How God asked me to say like that? And that is directly hitting for some people. I don't know. This is the way God is using individually, nation-wise, political-wise, everywhere God is doing. So this man, God asked indirectly, in his heart, he said, let there be success. And own your own tongues. You have to go. So Mary and Joseph go into so those who are here in U.S., it is also God's plan. Those who want to go back to India also, God's plan. And if God's plan is, your plan is opposite to God's plan, what God will do? He will stop it. And He will make like the people of Israel, when they were in Egypt, God did that, right? And they started crying. Some way or the other, we have to go, we have to go like that because of the slavery, right? This is the reason we have to learn Old Testament. Some people are like, what is Old Testament? What is Old Testament? Only New Testament. How can you understand New Testament without Old Testament? Lot of lessons, teaching. For nursery, for correction, everything, the whole, the total Bible is there. So don't forget. So now this is enough. Bethlehem birth. Then according to Luke's gospel, we see Jesus is glowing here. Now it is said uh, at the early age of Jesus, Joseph died. Because nothing is mentioned. That is scholar's idea. It's not my idea. Right? The scholars are saying, that's why uh, Joseph's story is not much heard. So, because he is the senior or firstborn of that family, he got the burden to take care of this family. How big was Jesus' family? Mother, at least four brothers, and two sisters. Four, six, seven, eight. At least that's the number. So he is having the burden. So he started doing the jaws of trade. Carpenter. So we are using Nasweth Carpenter. So somebody said he, up to 30 years old he was in India. Somebody said. He was uh, practicing yoga. <laughs> No, no. He was a responsible person and he was there in Nazareth under his parents, it is mentioned there, and he was taking care of his uh, brother, that family, as a carpenter. So later on, people called him the carpenter. Jesus the carpenter. Okay. Nazareth, this is a so cutting the wood. Carpenter. Now at the 30 years old, that is the time. Till 
that time he was there only he didn't come to india on december time that some foolish people are saying jesus tomb is there these and all that so many places it is there so you forget about that he was here in nazareth that at the age of 30 he has to come for the public ministry that is the time his cousin humanly speaking his cousin john the baptist appeared to this side of jordan river and he started preaching behold the kingdom of god is near near, near at hand very close repent and be baptized the repentance baptism message is coming so after 400 years yeah now a prophet is coming so the people are rushing that is always there a new something means people will rush that's the reason our beloved mother comes from koyla all are rushing to her in us also somebody got what does it mean mother <laughs> but that is for seeking for new new things so people are rushing here john the baptist breaking the silence after malachi john the baptist coming and preaching the repentance baptism that message so people are rushing they are repenting what to do what to do oh this you have to do this you have to do uh, like that then people are showing their repentance through baptism is god that is the same time jesus also coming and god told or informed john the baptist there is a sign it is different this person is different and john the baptist recognized jesus this, this is the first time though they are cousins they didn't meet before the first time meeting he recognized jesus and said oh no i cannot baptize him you please baptize me and what did jesus say yeah you it's okay you understood you recognize me as but i am running i am leaving with a time table who stand him what stand him where to be born how to grow where to go what to do everything according to that time table this is god's plan perfect you baptize that he submitted and to baptize in jordan river then there is something appeared that the trinity appeared that place jesus is coming out of the water and the father is saying this is my beloved son in whom i am pleased yeah not just please well please and god the holy spirit is coming just like a yes, dove dove is not holy spirit in the form of dove coming and resting on jesus and that is the only place where the trinity is very clearly seen it is in the new testament when jesus did in that way submitted under john the baptist though he is god himself then father said i am well pleased the children and my brother are we aware that we are doing as christians this is only connected to christians believers when as believers when we are doing something do you aware that our god the father is saying like this by saying what you are doing connected to church or outside oh i am well pleased my daughter what you did if you are aware about this statement from father you are going to be a holy person but you have to keep that my father god is pleasing on this what i am saying what i am doing what i am giving only think about god not the pastor okay. we can do before pastor something because he is saying you can do but you think you are doing something before god and for god and just think oh thank you lord this privilege to do something like this 
and let thy name be glorified and he should say and well please okay for that you think not people not pastor not bishop hmm? only god let him say the best thing okay nasrath carpenter jordan baptized to by john after the baptism the spirit let him to wilderness judean wilderness that is coming to that side again there it is coming the he was tempted by satan Some people may say that when you accept Jesus, no temptation there. That is the time temptation is started. Okay, how many temptations before Jesus? Three only. Final. Not four. Three. Six. Yes. Okay. Then now you go to the complete that portion. How many temptation is this there? How many days Jesus was there? Forty days. days fasting. Then it is written there. Those days, Satan tempted him. Those days means forty. After forty days, three. When he was hungry, he is coming. with a new plan that plan is hey jesus why are you very hungry if you are the son of god 